Hey up, Rock God 2004 back again. Um, I just thought I'd do a little review of the two um, 4Ks that I unboxed last week, which were Friday the 13th and The Fun House. Um, the first one I watched, which is one I watched all the way through, was Toby Uber's Fun House. Um, I do have the Blu ray of this, so I was curious. To see what they were, they were going to do with it. With it being like not the most sort of like. Biggest blockbuster of films. And I was absolutely gobsmacked. Um, this looked absolutely beautiful. The colours in it. When they actually go inside the fun house. Um, it kind of reminded me of the colours in um, Suspiria. Um, the green and the red. And the blue it was, it absolutely blew me away um and it was pin sharp but you could see like on the left and the right sometimes um which i'm assuming is it must have just be i don't know what it was like the, the lens that they were using or what but the, there was some stuff which i'd never noticed before which were quite sort of like hazy um and it was nothing to do with like the printer and like, i think it was just the way it was shot um, and i'm assuming i've never noticed it before because it's never looked this good before it was like watching a new film again it was that good um i was absolutely over the moon with it i think i did um show the inside last time the discs and stuff um just in case i'll do it again i did reverse the art in the end um and show the alternate art because it's exactly the same as what's on the slip cover on the other side um <clears throat> and the 4k is the one with the the poster art the clown and the other one's the alternate um, I didn't watch or check the DVD to be honest it was just the 4k I watched um, but yeah I was over the moon with it um, so 10 out of 10 the screen factory for that one for me definitely and the second one I watched is my second favourite film of all time uh, and it's the original Friday the 13th now <clears throat> I've seen a few mixed reviews about this one. Um, I've seen a couple of people. Um, there's a guy uh, from the States called... Uh, his channel is Christian Hannah Hora. Um, and he thought it looked a little bit sort of dark. So he did something with his telly. Um, and once he'd altered his TV, he said it, it sorted everything out. He said it looked great. Um, Paul... The 4K chef, he watched it and um, he was pleased with it. He said, Yeah, it was dark in places, but he thought it looked great. I don't, um, with the majority, I think it looks terrible. It is far too dark. Um, for me, if, if, if all the other discs are all right, why should this one have to be tweeted to get it up to, up to scratch type of thing? A couple of bits that I remember, um, there's three in particular apart from being overall dark anyway the bit at the beginning where the couple go upstairs usually you watch it um and you can see like the wooden beams and stuff behind them all i saw was him stood there holding his belly after he's had something done to him and there's just blackness behind him you can see nothing and then when it goes to the girl it's pretty much the same another bit um was when Betsy Palmer comes on and she's doing the strange voice in the dark and it's a big close-up of her face and she says I won't yes and I won't that bit half of her face is just dark it's like half lit up and half just dark I was like that's that's not right and the other bit which I've heard somebody else point out this bit before is the bit where Crazy Ralph when he comes out of the cabin 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 um, and Alice is at the door she opens the door watching him he's going back to his bike and he turns around and says you're doomed you can normally see his face and the shape of his mouth and everything it's just dark it's just like a black circle can't see any features so I'm really disappointed with this because I'm I know full well there's no doubt that if Screen Factory had done this there's a more care and it would look so much better um 
or what the hell's happened to it. I don't know because apparently it's the same scan. Um, I just don't think Paramount give a toss, to be honest. They just like churn them out. They don't really care. They've got enough money. Um, I would have bought this anyway with it being my second favourite film. But there's other people who, <clears throat> I think if they'd have seen it first, they wouldn't have bought it. So, yeah, it's the slip cover. Love it. Love the original art. But you don't get anything snazzy inside. You get a download code and the disc, and that's it. The download's on the other side of that. Um, the special features. I did watch some of the special features, and they do seem to have also been sort of mastered in some way as well. They did look a bit better. Um, but I was hoping that for this one that there's going to be a replacement disc program because it needs it. I can't see it, and if that's the case, I will watch this all the way through. But then I can see it. if there's not nothing going to happen to it, I'm going to stick to the screen factory box set because it blows this out the water. So uh, yeah, like chalk and cheese. Funhouse, absolutely fantastic. Friday the 13th, absolutely love the film, my second favourite film of all time. But the 4K transfer and everything on the disc, so disappointing. I would have given that a 10 out of 10. I'd have to give that picture quality wise, for me, a 5 or a 6. And it's a shame, because a lot of people have been waiting for that, me included. But there you go. So there you go. My little review that I promised. Um, very disappointed with Friday the 13th, but with the fun house blown away, absolutely far better than I expected. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I do appreciate it. I know I do say that. I do mean it. I do genuinely appreciate it. I've been doing this long and I'm still very, very ropey, so thank you for bearing with me. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you very much. All to you. Cheers.